Hi, welcome to this final video of the first season of my Understanding Gradle series. To complete this tour through the fundamental Gradle concepts, I want to go back to the very beginning of this video series. In the first video, I talked about the settings file, what it's for and that it's the entry point of every Gradle build. What we have seen in different videos, for example, when we talked about dependency management or publishing, is that it might make sense to split large software projects into multiple Gradle builds, which are either located next to each other in a repository or which are distributed in a multi-repository setup. In these cases, there might be a lot of repetition in what you need to define in your settings file. To avoid this repetition, you can define convention plugins for your settings file, similar as we define convention plugins for our build files. Let's explore how this works on our example. Let's have a look at the settings file of the project called My Project. As explained in the video on settings file, we use it to define where Gradle finds other components or other Gradle plugins, which can be repositories or included builds, and the structure of our own project by saying which subprojects we have. If the name of our build does not correspond to the folder the settings file is in, or if the folder name is changing because it's the root of a Git repository, we should also define a name of the build here in the settings file. Now in the example, we already have a second project called my other project. If we look in the settings file of this project, we see that there is a lot of repetition. The repositories are defined again, the include builds are defined again, and if our project should have similar structure, the subproject definitions might also be the same. Or we could use some code here to detect which subprojects are there and include them automatically. So let's define a settings convention plugin to avoid this repetition. In our build logic project, I've created a second subproject for the settings plugin called structure plugins. A settings plugin can be defined similar to project plugins. The only difference is that you need to add settings before the gradle.kts extension. So we add a settings convention plugin called myprojectstructure.settings.gradle.kts. In this file, you can now put script code as a normal settings file. So we start by just pasting what we had in our myproject settings file here. Now we can make this code a bit more generic to make it applicable in all our projects. We can remove the include build for build logic because that's where we are in right now. Then for the code that includes the other component builds, we can write a loop that detects all Gradle builds in the parent folder. If this is a multi-repo setup, this code would dynamically include all the projects that you have checked out in parallel. So depending how you want to work with a larger project setup, you are flexible here to implement whatever conventions you like to follow. Then for the structure of the project, we also have several options. We could say that our components always have a similar structure and we always have a data model subproject and a business logic subproject, for example. Or another option that fits our current project is that we just look for subprojects in the subfolders. So we look for folders with build Gradle KTS files and then include these automatically. That's it already. We can now use our settings convention plugin in several places. So in our settings file, we just need to do two things now. The first thing is we still need to include the build logic build because otherwise Gradle won't find the convention plugin. If you happen to publish your plugins, you could also define a repository here instead. And the second thing is that we apply our settings convention plugin. In our second project, the my other project, we just do the same thing and we are done. Importing our projects in IntelliJ or running builds still works as before. Settings plugins are a strong mechanism if you want to structure larger software projects. You can split your projects into multiple builds, either in a monorepo or distributed among several repos, and then you could use settings plugin to enforce a certain structure or architecture for all the different components. If you work with publishing components, you can control through the settings plugin which repositories are used and if you include other builds where Gradle can find them. And because this is again a convention plugin, you do all this in a central place. This concludes the first season of my Understanding Gradle videos. I hope that this four videos gives you a good understanding of all the concepts in Gradle you need in almost every larger build. Thank you all for following this channel and watching the videos so far. There's certainly a lot of more to talk about in Gradle. 
and I'll do more videos in the future. I'd like to encourage you to post suggestions for topics or concrete questions in the comments. The examples I used in all the videos are available on GitHub and you can check it out and try things out yourself there. And of course, you can use it as inspiration for your own Gradle projects. See you soon.